Hello again everybody. This is Michael, KE4EST. I wanted to show you a different way of doing the blink. There's all kinds of ways to do it. Uh, this is to be a like a quick little short different way of doing it. And also kind of show you about uh, making a library. As you can see here, I've included this no delay.h which I have over here. And here's the code for that, the C++ code. And what it does here is I've made two instances of it. My delay, my delay one. Set up some stuff here. And what I'm doing here, just since it's a very simple test, just to kind of show you how this is working. One thing it's going to do is blink the uh, built-in LED right here. It goes over here, grabs over here, this function here, um, and where do we go here? And you can see, oh, I scrolled too far, right here. If my delay dot start 1,000, so 1,000 milliseconds, and then it's just going to toggle toggle the LED. If LED is on, LED is zero. If else if LED is equal to 1 then LED you know back and forth and then at the same time we're going to come down here and we're going to print to the serial screen uh, to your serial output so you can see it on the monitor um, if serial else serial 0 or else is 1 toggle and then down here what's going to happen if LED on is equal to 1, then digital right LED built in 1 or turn it on. Else 0 or turn it off. And it'll sit there and just do that. And we've got it set for 1000. Um, and the serial is going to do the same thing here. And it's just a silly little thing saying serial on, serial off. Uh, if serial on OK is equal to 1, do that. Turn it off. Else do that. Okay, um, and that's just gonna show two different things. Gonna, you know, showing that you can set this up and then make different instances of it, as many as you want down through here. Um, I've got no delay dot h here. If and define no delay underscore h and define it, go ahead and include Arduino dot h. Then here's our class. Call it no block delay. And the public, I have this method here, no block delay. And I also have this here, um, which comes down. This is before you start it. It gives a Boolean output and takes unsigned long input. And then here's our little private stuff. And I put the PVT under uh, in front of everything here. So if we go over here to CPP code, we can see I've included Arduino.h, include no delay.h. Here's our constructor. Here's the guts of it right here. It takes in whatever you send over here. I send a thousand in on this one, so it's going to take the thousand in. If it's okay to start this private uh, little boolean here, um, which is really kind of set up as a eight, but um, then it's going to. Say so, okay, let's go ahead and grab the start time and turn it off so that this doesn't, this right here is not getting hit every time. So the only time this is going to, it's going to set the start time to the system time is when it says it's okay to. So it's going to come down here and then it's just going to keep looping through this and then it's going to check if millis, whatever millis is right at this instant, minus the start time is greater than or equal to interval which are interval here and you see like this example here we're going to send it a thousand milliseconds when it gets there it's going to say hey go ahead and turn it on because we won't go ahead and do that now we won't go ahead and turn back on so that this can reset itself if we want it to because if you don't you just go ahead and say return it's going to return immediately. It's going to leave this and be gone, and it's not going to set that. So go ahead and say, hey, yeah, it is set for interval. So let's go ahead 
put one. I set it back to a one so that it can go back up here the next time around if it, you want to call it again in your code. And return a one. And see, we're going to return a one here back. Else, just keep returning zero. And over here, you'll see if my delay.start 1000. And we could actually, you know, take this and do this to it is equal to one. That's the same thing I had written there. This makes it a little easier to understand. Look at it. if my delay dot start one thousand. Let's send a thousand. Let it run through it. And when it does equal one, because it's gonna keep giving it back a zero, but oh, it equals one now. When it hits the interval, this here says, oh, okay, let's return one. It's going to say, okay, it's one now. So then it's going to say if LED is equal, if LED on is equal to one, well, let's turn it off or set that to a zero. Else, LED is going to equal to one. So it can toggle this back and forth right here. And then it's going to get down and it's going to check the same thing on this. But when we get down on this one here, then it's going to say, okay, is LED on? And it'll be off, say. Finally, that's going to go to a 1. This is going to go to a 1. And it's going to say, oh, it's on, so let's turn on the LED. And then the way I've got this code set, it's just going to set, keep looping around, looping around, to turn it on and off, on and off, every one second. And this is something you know you can do to... You can put this in so you can look at it and say, hey, um, but there's the whole code for that. Now, if you want to turn this into a library, it'd be kind of a silly little library, but it would actually work. You could go and let me bring up my Notepad++ here. Here is the CPP I did, everything here. I set that up. And I went over here to no delay and h and put that all in here. Just everything I brought out of the Arduino IDE. Uh, I made a folder um, in the libraries under the Arduino libraries, called it No Block Delay. And then in that, I put this No Delay.h, and here's the code for that. And then here I put, and I also made a file, the No Delay.cpp. There's the code for that. And then if you want to get a little fancy half, it'll work like that. Um, but I went ahead and put some keywords. And here it is. Um, we have uh, the uh, no block delay as keyword one. And then a start, because that's all I've got in this. I'd like to later maybe expand on this, or maybe not. <laughs> it's just a little example here. But a keyword two. And then I saved all that into the folder. And then if we go back to Arduino, and let's say we go, I think I've got here, I also made an example in that folder. If you look, you'll see examples. If I go to my examples and find no block delay, and here's my blink. Okay. Here is, I include, so here's just blink, there's no other tabs here. Include no delay.h. Make an instance of no block delay called my delay. I set up an LED. Uh, here's my setup. All it's doing is I'm just blinking an LED. Uh, make you know, I guess it pin mode LED built in one. Um, and then come down, and here's the loop. Right here. Let me bring this screen there. Okay, there's your loop. If my delay dot start 1000, same thing. Then down here it's going to turn it on and off. And that's the end of it. Um, that's it right there. Uh, so, there's actually some spaces here we don't need here. Um, but that's it. That's the whole, the whole loop. So, just something to do. Uh, let's see if we brought up. Where is you? 
this PC it's usually under C if that's why you installed it it would be under program files Arduino libraries Let me bring this up here if you go to libraries and you look down here I've got the library right here and there's our files the no delay.h no delay.cpp the keywords are text and I got an examples and our examples I got a blink and there's the .ino file for the blink um, so it's just a different way to do it just uh, something different play around with writing the library checking it out it's cool and you also look here you see how this no block delay is different color and starts a different color which that might already be in different I might have already been one in some of these other libraries or built in libraries somewhere might have been a start but say you call this Bob whatever you want to call it you can put that in your right here change this to here to Bob and when you uh, save everything make sure you close out your Arduino IDE completely and you start it back up and then you go to it it'll show it there so it's kind of cool um, makes it look more like wow this is what other things are doing now I can do it so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video uh, just a different way to do it so uh, and thanks everybody for watching Again, this is Michael, KE4EST73, everybody. This is what other things are doing now. I can do it. So, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just a different way to do it. So, uh, And thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, this is Michael, KE4EST73.